Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penj, and welcome back to Soda Story Brewing Tycoon, where we're currently trying to work out how to make use of our new soda sampler machine thingamajig, because we bought that last time and it was very, very expensive, but so far we haven't been able to make it actually do anything, and I think the big problem was that I thought we didn't have anything spicy. We need to make ourselves a spicy lemon soda recipe, and I thought, okay, we have nothing spicy, we'll go and invest in the chilli essence, and then grow some chilli, and then put that in, but a few people in the comments have said that maybe our mustard is spicy. So let's go and check that because I'm not entirely sure. Now mustard is down here, 15 mustard cubes in that brewer, making the lovely hot beef soda very nice indeed. If we go into here and have a little look, is it spicy? Yes, it is. It is weird because, yeah, I will grant you it's a weird ingredient to put into soda is mustard, but also it is spicy. Okay, that's very good. Right, we'll just borrow that for now. Don't worry, machine, we'll bring it back. And then, I mean, do we just put it in the other slot? Or do we need to make a recipe for this? I'm not entirely sure. If we put that into there, and then, oh my goodness me, there is a mini game. There, there is a mini game for this. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is terrible. Hang on, that can come down there. Has it got to go into there? Okay, there we go. That's going to go down here, and we can dispense a little sample of our lemony mustardy drink. Yeah, okay, right, dispense that. So we've done that. Um, and then, yes, now we need to drink that. Oh, look, we've got a can to ourselves. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, so now we can give it a taste. I'm not entirely sure I'd like to drink a lemony mustardy drink, but okay, we'll give it a go. So we have a go with that. And now we get hot feet. Hot feet. Okay, and the door has opened and we have hot feet. Oh, we literally... <laughs> Okay, right. We literally have hot feet. Our feet are very much on fire. And I think we have to go and stand next to that ice. Okay, it's kind of, it's whittled it down a little bit. Okay, right. That was very unexpected. I didn't think that was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> that was bizarre. That was very strange. Um, I think we do need to um, do some work over here. Um, a few people in the comments have said, why have you not got the, um, the sort of the garden bottle set up and other bots? We will get there in time. But this is the Geek Cupboard, and things generally take a long time in the Geek Cupboard. Um, oh, hang on a minute, we need to plant some more things. Oh, and we've got some sort of uh, email-y stuff as well. Hang on a minute. Um, essence <gasps> essence of chocolate. Oh, that is wonderful. Hang on, let's get some more stuff planted. Hang on a second. Um, essence of beef we definitely need. So pop that into there. What else can we have? Um, essence of donut. Yeah, we'll pop that back in as well. We'll pick up the strawberry whilst we're there. So plant that, and then we'll have... Um, yeah, the, have we got essence of strawberry there? Okay, so put that down into there, which is wonderful. And um, we will do a spot of watering as well. Don't worry, it's fine. Just top these up. Very nice. Um, yeah, that one is done. Essence of lemongrass is done. We'll come to that in a second. Right, we'll pick up the mustard, because that's quite good. So we'll grab all that, and we'll put the mustard immediately back in, because we are going through that quite a bit with the beef. It's working very well. Right, give that a spot of water as well. So that should be everything sorted. Go and just fill up the watering can. Very nice indeed. Right. Okay. Hang on. Come back down here then. Um, do we need to load anything up? Uh, yes, we do. That needs the donut stuff and that needs strawberries. Okay, that's good. What does this need again? That's beef and cabbage. Okay, we could put some beef in here. There is a little bit of cabbage left. So it should be able to work through that over time. And then, yeah, that's... Oh, hang on. Then we can put mustard back into there. And then when the beef grows, it'll all be sorted. Right. Hang on a second. Hang on. Let's read this email first. Yep. Hello. Oh, it's a daily summary thing. Okay. That's fine. Right. Can we get this done again so we can have ourselves another drink, give ourselves some more hot feet, and then go melt that thing? So that's going to come down like that. That's going to go there. We're going to take that round. Yeah, that's perfect. That will do the job. Right. What we'll do is we shall go and drink our lovely spicy drink over here so we're next to that thing immediately right so we've got hot feet there we go melty melty that thing away and that is sorted pick up essence of gold flakes oh that is very extravagant 250 money for that we've gone back over a grand that is very welcome um and check our mail oh and we've got have we got a research point i've got some more money as well um okay Dr. Soda. Thank you, Dr. Soda. I found it. Okay, good for you. Uh, while you were figuring out how to unfreeze that essence, I was searching high and low for my greatest invention, the bottomless bottle. When you sampled and discovered a soda effect, 
you can use the bottomless bottle to activate that effect whenever you want. Free refills. I've sent it to your delivery box. Go grab it and assign an effect to one of the quick drink slots. Okay. That seems a little bit strange. Okay. Also, is there somebody outside? Is there so Oh, hello. Who are you? Which one were you? Let's have a chat with you. Uh, Warden Gray. Oh, you're not one of the, um, you're not one of the other inmates. You're the prison warden. Oh, okay. Hello, Warden Gray. Hello, Penge. We spoke briefly before via email. I'm Warden Gray. Okay. Hello. How are you? Uh, the first, uh, the first voting round for prisoners has arrived and I need you to follow me to the main stage. Oh, we're going to get some reality TV stuff going on. You will need to wait in the side cell until I call you up for an interview. Okay, I assume we're still in. Uh, following that, you will be asked a few questions about yourself and how things are going in your warehouse. Finally, it will be the fan vote for the week, which will involve all the participants. If you somehow manage to win the vote, you will gain the bonus prize for the week and receive a month off your sentence. That is wonderful. I don't really know how long I'm in for. How long am I in for for tax evasion? And what are the other people in for? Because if the other people are in for, you know, like arson or something, I possibly might need to be a little bit aware that if my building does go up in flames, it's probably one of the other people. But okay, also no funny business. The security in the studio is even higher than in here. Okay, that's fine. We're going to get a bottle. We're going to get a bottle, but okay, we'll wait. Okay, prison is. Okay, so she's interviewing. That was a sandwich guy. Yeah, thank you, Sandwiz. That was certainly an interesting story. <laughs> In no way was that forced. I especially like the part about your great-great-grandpa inventing the sandwich, however true that is. Yeah, I doubt that as well. Okay, if you'd like to vote for the sandwiz, please select option four on your phone during the voting period. Oh, this is wonderful. Up next is Penge, a relatively unknown face that is yet to prove themselves in this competition. Please make them welcome. Okay, there I am. Oh, that, that sofa's lovely. That looks very nice. Hi, everyone. Hi. I've been making soda and I had to learn how to do it from scratch. I feel like I'm a little bit, you know, on the sort of a bit of a disadvantaged kind of position, really. Hello and welcome, Penge. How are things this evening? Okay, I guess this is all very new to me. Oh, I kind of hope we get to choose some of our conversational things. I'd like, be, I'd like to be able to choose what we say. Uh, the transition between fascinating. <laughs> is she just talking over me? Because I probably said something exciting there. People don't really know the real Penge. How about you give us a brief rundown on who you are and how you landed yourself in prison? I'm currently serving a two-year sentence for tax evasion. Okay, so two years. So if we, if we win this current round, we get a month off. Okay, that's not so bad. Before that, I was a designer at a video game company. Was I? A what company? A video... Never mind. <laughs> that's all we have time for tonight. Oh, oh, okay. Can you all vote for me, please? If you'd like to vote for Penge, ah, there we go. Please select option five on your phone during the voting period. Yep, absolutely. It's a good choice. Um, okay, speaking of which, it's coming up next after this short commercial break. Okay, so let's see. Can we remain in? Okay, it's just, oh, is it just us two? All right, Prisoner fans, do you have your phones and votes ready? Begin the voting round for week one. You have 30 seconds to cast your votes. Okay, Penge. Oh, I've started off pretty well. Oh, no. I'm, oh, no, I've gone back down. Oh, no. Oh, this is awful. Okay, we didn't lose. We didn't win either. The Sandwiz won. And that's time, folks. I kind of feel like she gave him way more attention than she gave us. I feel like this is a little bit biased. And that's time, folks. Please join me in congratulating this week's winner, the Sandwiz. He wins a bonus $1,000 and a month off his sentence. Now, oh, that's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. And don't forget to come back next voting round to cheer on your favourite prisoner contestant. Okay, so we didn't win. We weren't last either. I think were we second or third, possibly? But um, yeah, it does feel like it's a little bit kind of rigged in his favour, if I'm being completely honest, because he got to talk about his granddad or whatever, and we hardly got to say anything at all. OK, that's it for this voting round. There isn't really a set schedule, but I will call on you next uh, when we next need. OK, suck it, fool. I told you I had this in the bag. I really don't like you, Sandwiz. You are very, very rude indeed. Can you just clear off? Calm it, you two, or I will call security. I didn't say anything at all. I said nothing at all back to him. In my head, I was thinking, please go away. But I didn't say anything. Before I go, I need to let you know that the season ladder is now open. Okay, what is that? You've been ranked by a pre-season fan popularity vote. 
the winner of the season of Prisoners with a contestant that is on top of the ladder by the end of the season. Okay, uh, there are five voting rounds in total. You can send a challenge request to any contestant that is directly above you on the ladder. If you win that challenge, you will move up a rank. Okay, what does that mean? Challenges usually involve earning money and gaining fans. You know, the sort of stuff you'll be doing anyway. Okay, because you are starting at the bottom of the rankings, you have the bonus benefit of being able to knock out any contestant you beat. Excuse me? That is so unfair. That's the rules, Sandwich. The Sandwiz! I don't care. Fine. Okay, Sandwiz will let you know when he's ready for you to challenge him. Okay, so he's next on the thing. If I win, what do I get? You get some cash. Before they can challenge you again, they have to pay up. Oh, gee, some cash. Sounds great. Look, I'm not making enough to put up with this nonsense. <laughs> Keep things civil around here. Does this all sound okay? Ha, I'll let them know when I'm ready, all right. That's if they ain't chicken. Okay, so you're clearing off. Um, oi, oi, what are you doing? Bok, bok, bok. What, what's he doing to my machine? Or is he just standing behind the machine making a chicken noise? Or is it... <gasps> you cheat bag. Hey, surely everyone saw that. Come on, that's that's blatant cheating. Warden, are you going to do anything? No, just just going to leave it broken. Oh, great. Well, thanks. That was, that was really good. I'm glad that's completely broken. Repair the shipping bay. How do we do that? Um, the wrench. Oh, okay. Let's go and do that. Why has nothing happened to him because of that? That was, like, really deliberate. That was really obvious. What a, what a pest. Okay, right, come along here, get the wrench, and repair that, please. So do some repairing. It's all fine. There we go. Also, let's give, um, let's give Jeff a little bit of drink while he's there. Just, you know, charge him up again. That's wonderful. Right, go and do this. Get revenge on the sandwiches. Crypto mine is installed. Frozen essence done. Oh, now it's making us be all nefarious. I don't want to go and get revenge on him. I'd like to beat him fair and square. Okay, we'll have the delivery of bottomless soda. Okay, so how does this work exactly? I don't really understand how that works. Oh, hang on, there's a thing hopping up and down. Um, Prisoner's audience. The prisoner's audience has selected you for a weekly challenge. Winning the challenge will help you in the next voting round. Sell 50 cases of soda that contains a, f a trending flavour from any age group. Okay, so 50 cases of soda with a trending flavour from any group. Okay, age group trends. Jew, chicken, caffeine, lettuce, <laughs> lettuce and cookie dough. Let oh, lettuce and cookie dough is, is huge. Grapefruit or avocado. Okay, so we want to do that as well, don't we? We want to do that. Um, okay, firstly, let's do this. Edit the bottomless bottle and assign an effect. I don't really get what this is. I don't get what it is. Okay, so we click that and then we edit it and then we put that effect in okay so we've got 50 money and 50 xp and now if we drink for oh now it's going to give us ah we can choose what we'd like so we can choose to have hot feet without having to then go and sample that okay right i see that makes a little bit more sense okie doke right so let's drag those things back over there uh, we've still got our, our feet still do seem to be a little bit on fire hang on a minute <laughs> We'll sort that out in a second. Um, oh, hang on. Was that mustard? No, right. So all the mustard can go into there. That's fine. Pile all the mustard in. Um, now we need to go and get beef because it seems we're out of beef and also cabbage possibly. So let's grab cabbage and we'll grab... I just want the thing actually. I just want that. And I want the essence of beef cube thing, Majig. Right, run back over here. We'll put the cabbage into there because we still need to keep money coming in because that's important and we'll put the beef into there so that can now make us some lovely drinks again which will make us money although money is looking pretty good right now um okay that is something to do with revenge on the sandwiches however let's work on this shall we 50 cases of a soda that contains a trending flavor from any age group okay so I think we focus on that. So let's get these out of the way. That's finished as well. So I think if it's got to be 50 cases, I think we need to get all three machines working on the same thing. So I think we need to figure out what we're going to make. So let's have a little look. What is going to make us some money as well? Hang on, hang on. It's better to look at this on the computer, I think, because we can see a little bit clearer. Um, yeah, markets. Okay, that's better because we can see the demand and the things over here. So... 
cookie dough is that currently in a sort of a positive thing i mean mustard is currently doing very well which is very good um it's what we're looking for lettuce dew chicken cookie dough avocado and grapefruit any of these ah chicken okay so what if we made a chicken and dew uh soda what if we did that was lettuce hang on there's lettuce as well what if we made a chicken and lettuce drink that'd be okay wouldn't it chicken and lettuce dirt <laughs> Why would that be a thing? Okay, also, I think maybe. Could we do some, um, could we do some things? Could we do some, uh, sort of, you know, media campaigns for the young adults and middle aged and the seniors? Because they don't really like us very much. How about young adults? Let's do a leaflet handout. Let's do that, please. And we'll try and increase the amount of young adults that like us by dropping some leaflets. Um, yeah, so I think we go get the chicken. Go get chicken or lettuce. If we could get either of those from the shop, that would be really handy. Um, okay, so is there chicken or is there lettuce? Essence of lettuce. Yeah, okay. Right, grab the lettuce. Yes, please. Instant purchase. Um, okay, and what else did we want then? Hang on, come back out of that. Go to, no, not the shop. Go to the markets. So it's lettuce and maybe cookie dough. I mean, was it just one, is it one ingredient, one thing? A trending flavour from any age group. Okay, so it's any of them. So I wonder if we run down here and just do a little bit of investment on the flavour cube. I oh, know we need to grow the thing first. Hang on a second. Hang on a minute. Do that. Get the lettuce out of there. Uh, okay, right. Hang on. We've got way too many things. We're holding too many things. But we want to go to pick up the essence of beef. Lovely. Um, go to there. Get essence of lettuce. Put that into our inventory just there. Then click that. Then plant it. And then water it. Okay, so give that plenty of water. That will start growing. Very good indeed. Um, okay, right. Grab that as well. Um, hang on. Leaflet uh, campaign thing is done. 523 new young adult fans. Okay, that's a good thing. So we're becoming a little bit more popular, which is marvellous. Do we need to do a bit of cleaning up? Is that a little bit grubby? Um, yeah, somebody did point out that it's where the rats go. So the ground gets grubby where the rats kind of run to. And then, I mean, they did so they explode. I assume they just kind of burrow into the ground or they vanish or whatever. That is looking a little bit grubby there. Uh, okay, so is that finished? Yes, it is. So for now, let's take... We're holding way too much stuff. We're holding so much junk right now. Hang on a minute. Put that away. That's fine. Right, essences of all these things can go at the bottom. We've got so many essences of everything. We need to complete that goal just there right now. So let's put all these things into here. Um, yep, yeah, even the essence of gold flake, which is exciting. Um, and then we'll put the cube. Oh, hang on, those cubes can match. And that's a ginseng thing. I mean, yeah, what could we get for that? Fruit and vegetable flavour. If we could get... Hang on, if we could figure out something that works well with our lettuce... That could be very good indeed. Okay, we'll give that a go. Right, so we've emptied. Hang on, now we can go and empty that out. So, um, yeah, just sort of click that. And yeah, a few people have pointed out you can shift click to move things over nice and quick. You can just press shift and click and it drags it straight over to wherever it can go in your sort of inventory. Okay, that's fine. Right, so the machines are now clear, which is good. And then we're going to go bop, bop, bop like that. That'll do. Splendid. Right, is that thing done yet? Can somebody make this essence of lettuce grow a bit quicker, please? Can we do that slightly faster? That'd be wonderful. We have got a research point and a few people have said, get the garden bot. The garden bot can help you a great deal. And then we can get stock bot, which is also very good. Um, I think let's unlock garden bot right now. Um, so we can now buy one of those. Okay, we'll do that in a second. We need to get this lettuce done first. Come on. Um, okay. Assign a garden bot to plant, harvest, and store from a garden plot. A garden bot is asked to do lots of various bits and bobs. Okay, uh, store it in a garden trunk. Oh, so we have a little kind of outside storage box type thing. Nothing over there from our mole friend. Okie doke. Right, we have ourselves a very lettucey cube right there. Let's put the lettuce immediately back in and grow that again because we're going to need quite a bit of it um, but also let's go to the flavor cube analyzer 
let's put that in and let's pay 120 monies to automatically do that because I was rubbish at that mini game. <laughs> I was really bad at that, so I think we'll let uh, we'll let something automatic happen with that because otherwise it will be a big old disaster. Um, okay, right, hang on, Jeff needs a bit of a drink. There you go, Jeff. Splendid stuff. Um, yeah, okay, right. So things are now just sort of waiting for that uh, that analyzer thing to finish doing its job. Can we clean the floor over there? Can we clean the ah? We can clean up over here. Teeny tiny bit of XP. Never a bad thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Let's um. Let's. Oh, hang on. Can we? Can we go and tidy up? Oh no, that's the brewer thing. Um. So yeah, we'll just wait for that to finish doing its thing. It's what forty-two percent of the way through. I mean, really, could we? Could we churn out a few more things? Have we got donut? Have we got donut. No, we've got strawberry. Have we got? Uh, hang on. That needs beef and mustard. That needs beef and cabbage. I think we might be out of beef. Possibly. We might well be out of beef. Uh, do you know what? We've got donut there, though, haven't we? Donut and strawberry. So we'll grab that. We might as well be making some sort of money rather than no money at all whilst that thing is working. So, um, yeah, just put those back in. It's fine. So, Bob, Bob, please make these and make them very quickly. Right, and then Flavor Cube Analyzer, do your analyzing, but do it quicker, please. Really, really quickly. <coughs> <coughs> okay here we go 98 99 and 100 percent okay so let's go over here uh lettuce and cookie dough okay i think we sort of knew that because isn't that one of the one of the things in the sort of markets anyway isn't that one of the preferred things um okay can we go and get cookie dough because if we can do that, that's going to be a massive hit. Okay, go to the shop. Can we get cookie dough? No, we cannot. That is very, very unfortunate indeed. Um, okay, never mind. How long is it going to be until that kind of refreshes? Does it tell us? I thought it told us how long it was going to be. Ah, there you go. One hour until it restocks. Do we wait for another hour? Essence of buffalo sauce. That sounds amazing. Um, I think maybe, maybe we'll wait another i mean yeah just under an hour oh no it's still an hour ish i think we'll wait i think that could be quite good um plus eight percent if it's got fruit or vegetable flavor if it's got sugar in it um okay and aspartame is that how you pronounce that so plus 12 percent value if the recipe's got fruit in it minus 20 percent value if it's got vegetable in it okay and that's just 10 percent value if a recipe contains fruit and vegetables okay so hang on so what is, uh, oh, another research point. Very nice indeed. Um, what is this? So lettuce is vegetable. So if we can find a fruit that would go with it, that'd be wonderful. I mean, possibly, could we do strawberries? Could we do that? Would lettuce and strawberry go together? What other vegetables are looking good in the market? No, fruits are looking good in the markets. Hang on. So what's looking good? Um... What's a, where's a fruit? Plum, plum. Can we get plum from the shop? That would be ideal. If we get plum, that would be amazing. Any other fruit or grapefruit? So plum, grapefruit or cookie dough from the shop when it refreshes. Ah, it's refreshed. Okay. So we haven't got cookie dough, unfortunately. We haven't got plum. Um, oh, that's really unfortunate, isn't it? And we haven't got whatever the other one was either, I don't think. Um, okay, right. This is not ideal, is it? Okay, what do we want to go for then? What can we go for? Because um, I want a fruit one, because then we can put the, the ginseng in it. What can we go for? Strawberry. Okay, strawberry is still sort of popular. Right, okay, so we shall have strawberry and we shall have lettuce. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. And we'll just churn these out as best we can. So let's go to there and go pause. And, okay, go to a new thing, and then we'll make it, I don't know, pink. That'll do. Why not? Um, let's call it lettuce, lettuce berry. There, that'll do. Lettuce berry. Uh, we'll have the nice tall cans, and then we'll create that, and then we'll say lettuce can go into there, and then do we have any strawberry? Not from there, we don't. Okay, hang on. Grab that stuff. Um, did we plant any? 
That thing we did. Oh, there's the essence. Oh, no, botherations. Okay, never mind. <laughs> right. Get that going. Give that some water. Like so. Very good. Okay, just keep just keep pouring the water on it. Uh, right, harvest that and get that back in the ground as well. Just keep going with that, please. And then get some more water on it. Get some more water on it. Okay, that's looking good. Right, and then come down here. And yeah, we can't do much with that right now. So let's just chuck. I mean, yeah, if we're going to switch this round, if we're going to have multiple machines working on it, why don't we pause that and we'll load. Um, I mean, yeah, lettuce cookie dough. Lettuce cookie dough would be amazing. We don't have the cookie dough mix game. I know that would be good, but we just don't have it, I'm afraid. Um, so yeah, where, where what was it called? What was it called? Um, I thought we called it something really obvious, but it's not in this. It's not in the list. It's, hang on. Hang on. What did we call it? We called it lettuce berry. Okay, why isn't that there? Why can't we load that recipe in? Or am I being very daft and I just can't see it? I can't see lettuce berry anywhere. Hang on. Lettuce lettuce cookie dough. Oh, okay. Why why haven't we got the strawberry on there then? Now I'm a little bit confused. Uh, okay, do you know what? We'll wait for that to grow. We'll wait for that to grow because we can't do much else right now. There's a lot of waiting around this time. It's okay. Uh, we'll go and do a spot of cleaning. Look, that looks like it needs a good scrub. So we'll clean that up. That's all fine. We do have a research point available. Hang on. Can we clean up that as well? Uh, no, but there is a use. There you go. Clean. There we go. And um, we have got another research point. So what can we do with that? I mean, we could get Stockbot. That could be quite handy. A quad plot sprinkler. Oh, that does automatic watering. Okay, that's quite good. Or Stockbot, they can do inventory-based tasks. And that, I think, is where my head is going to implode because I'm going to get very confused with having to work out what to take where with what and how and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be very confusing. Um, I wonder then, what else could we go for right now? Just to maybe... Just a maybe, because we've got the garden bot task to do first. Uh, let's get the vegetable soda breakthrough. If there is a vegetable flavor cube in the recipe, soda value is increased by 5%. And we know that will be the case because we're going to put lettuce into it momentarily when we actually have some. So, um, yeah, if that could, you know, if this could grow really quickly, if the strawberry and the lettuce could grow quick, that would be marvelous. Hang on a second. Let's go and grab the ginseng because we know we need that. Oh, there's strawberry in there. Oh, botherations. Okay. <laughs> We've got strawberry in here. We could have we could have been getting on with this. We could have been doing stuff. Okay. Lettuce berry. Like that. So it's all set up and ready to go. Go. Maybe now, maybe now we can load that into here possibly. So load. And maybe it's because, yeah, maybe it's because we hadn't sort of activated it. Right. So load that. So now we're going to put, oh, hang on a minute, we've got some lettuce to go into there. Very nice. And then we've got the strawberry from here, which has now grown, which is wonderful. Right, so do all that. Replant those. Or do we want to replant those? Because maybe we should get a garden. But hang on, what's going on in here? Email is nagging. Oh, it's a daily summary that I'm not interested in because I don't, I'm yeah, just not first right now. It's okay. Things are going okay. Um, So... Can we get a garden bot? 263 money. That's an absolute bargain. And um, how about then, if we are going to get a garden bot, why don't we get a couple more garden plots in, like so, and then get garden bot. Okay, so garden bot will just put you, uh, put you down here, look. You can just sort of sit just there. Okay, so we've purchased a garden bot. Now what do we do? So uh, it has to plant in a garden plot. Task to harvest, task to store in a garden trunk. Okay, do we need to build, ah, storage. Uh, do we need to build a garden trunk? There's a barrel. Um, there's that thing there, so, oh, soda bot. Um, and that, that's what we've got already, isn't it? That's what we've got already. Um, I don't know, where's the garden trunk? How do we, how do we do that? I'm not entirely sure where that is. Okay, garden bot. First things first. You're going to need some water, because that's okay. That's how the robots work, which I do quite like. That's quite nice. Right, so charge you up. Wonderful. And then manage. Okay, so can you plant and harvest on all of these things here, please? Plant and harvest on 
all of those eight things. I'm not entirely sure what you do with them afterwards, though. But how, do it, how does it know what to do with those? How does it know what to do? So it's going to harvest that. That's okay. So it's going to do some harvesting. So it's hard. Look, it's got a little kind of bit that sticks out and it's picking it up. Okay, so it's harvested that and it's harvested that. Does it not water these as well? Because that'd be quite nice. Oh, that's what the watering things are for, of course it is. So it's done that. It's done the harvesting. I'm not entirely sure what else it's supposed to be doing. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Hang on. How are we doing over here? That's churning out some stuff. We've made seven. That's okay. Uh, we're out of strawberry. Hang on a second. There we go. Splendid. Um, and then back over here. Yeah, we need to get those other ones back in the ground. So how do we tell it to store in a garden trunk? We don't have a garden trunk. Is that a thing that we're supposed to unlock? Uh, are we supposed to unlock garden trunks in here? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't know. I can't see where it would be if it were to be in here. It feels like it should just be a thing we can build normally, but I don't know where it would be. It's not under buildables. It's not under there because it's just not there. Is it a thing we have to buy from the shop? Do we need to buy a little thing from the shop? There's some cleaning up to do. My goodness me. Do we have to go to the shop and buy like a garden trunk or something? I don't know. Wrench. Um, ah, blueprint garden trunk. 1,400 monies for a garden trunk blueprint. Ouch. Okay, that's that's very expensive. Okay, <laughs> we will not be doing that anytime soon. We're going to have to wait for Garden Bot to go and store some things away. Oh my word. Um, We will do some cleaning up, however. And we'll do some cleaning up there because I quite like that. Um, Okay, right. That's all fine. That's all fine. We can sort Garden Bot out in a bit. At least we have one to help out a bit. Uh, okay, so where do we have... Oh, lettuce. Okay, so lettuce can go into there. But now we've got... What's that doing? That's churning out some stuff. Okay, that's fine. But we need to go over here because we need to do some planting of things. So over here, we need to get strawberry. And over there, we need to get lettuce. Okay, right. So let's get that done. Plant that, please. And then go down here and plant that. And then give it some water. I'm surprised Garden Bot doesn't do auto watering. I thought that would be kind of what it does because, you know, it's tending to the garden. But clearly not. Okay, Right, good. And then we'll go and put the... Um, hang on, is that doing... I could put... It's requiring strawberry though, isn't it? We'll go and put the donut and such like away. I didn't put the ginseng in. I didn't put the ginseng into the um, into the recipe. That's a bit of a bother, isn't it? Hang on a second. Hang on. Can we add that in now? Can we just chuck that in? Yeah, okay. So these ones are going to be a bit better. So yeah, start now. These ones are going to be a little bit better because we've, I don't know, popped a sprinkling? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what form ginseng comes in, but we put a bit of ginseng in there. Okay, right. This is all fine, and we've sold 9 out of 50. But we are slowly but surely getting there, apart from a lack of strawberries, uh, which is a bit of a problem. But okay, it's fine. We're so, Yeah, we're working on it. It is going okay. Maybe over here, to keep the money coming in, we should switch around to something else very, very profitable, like, I mean, yeah, 4 89 our Sunday lunch was doing pretty well. Beef and cabbage. Cabbage and beef is 4 75 Beef and cabbage is 4 89 <laughs> Okay. I mean, mustard and lemon is oh, 6 77 <gasps> Why don't we just do that? Let's have this. Hang on. Mustard and lemon. We must have quite a bit of that left over. That sells for quite a lot of money. Um, mustard and lemon, also lemon and, uh, where's the mustard one? Where's the mustard one? Oh no, Why is it in the backpack? Where's our, where's our mustard thing? That's gold flakes. Uh, where's our mustard flavour cube thingamajig? Where is it? Uh, or is it, oh, is it in the garden bot? It's in garden bot, isn't it? It's in there. Hang on a second, hang on. Um, do we manage? How do we take the stuff out of Garden Bot? How do how do we do that? I want to I want to look at Garden Bot's inventory. We can charge you, and that's fine. View storage. Ah, no, it's not there. The mustard is, and the lemongrass is. That's that's wonderful. But where is our mustardy? Oh, it's in the ground. Essence of mustard is just there. 
Oh, okay. It's already planted. That's fine then. That's a good thing, isn't it? Okay, hooray for that. Right, okay, so add that, add that, and get producing. Oh, hang on. No, 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 no. No, hang on. It's in the wrong size can. Uh, can we change that? Can we edit that? Ah, there you go. Edit. Oh, edit soda name. Uh, can we edit? That's the brewer name. Do you know what? It's fine. We'll, ju we'll just make it because there's loads of it and it will be nice and profitable. I am sure it's going to do very well for itself. Okay, right. That's that done. We're up to 15 of these things now. But again, we are lacking in various bits and bobs like strawberry so i'd like I'd, I'd like it to be more automated i'd like there to be more automation going on i want it to go yeah there you go we've watered this and we've done that and we've done this and i could just kind of sit back for a bit but i kind of feel like i'm dashing around the place doing a lot of stuff and i kind of feel like i'd like to be doing less stuff and letting our robot friends deal with stuff okay let's just chuck some uh water onto these things because that's fine okay good Put a bit of water onto that one as well. And a little bit of water onto that one. Okay, right. So are we looking okay for this? We can't afford a garden trunk quite yet because that's very expensive. However, is it worth having a look at what this is all about? Crypto miners installed. Okay, so we need to go and have a look over here. Oh, this feels very naughty. This doesn't feel good at all. Uh, are we gonna we're gonna break in okay fine we're going to slide in this feels terrible <laughs> i don't want to be doing this game i want to go down the route of being nice um oh he's got cameras and he is there oh well hang on do i do i need crypto miners get revenge on the sandwich by sneaking to his warehouse and sabotaging his operations install some crypto miners on his machines do i have crypto miners no Okay, how do I get out? I'd like to... How do I leave? Uh, okay, hang on. Can I go out that way? Oh, no. How on earth do I escape? <laughs> um, he's got essence of pizza. Can I have that? Can I nick his stuff? Oh, I can nick all his stuff. Oh, this is terrible. This is really dishonest. <laughs> this is all sorts of bad. Um, oh, he's got all sorts of very fancy machines going on. Look at that. Oh, hang on. He's over there. He's over there. Should possibly not... Go and uh, get in his path. Hang on a minute. There's a laser thing just there. How do we How do we leave? How do I get out of his place? <laughs> He's going to come back and find me. There we go. There's the door. Um, okay, leave. Right, we didn't go in with any kind of thingamabobs. Whatever they were saying they were. What were they? Crypto something or others. Crypto miners. We didn't go in with any of those. Okay, how do we get those? I assume we have to go and buy them. But we do have Essence of Pizza now and some more Instagrow. So that's quite good, I suppose. We'll pop those in like that. Um, crypto miners. I assume we go to the shop and buy those. Okay, so hang on. Miscellaneous. So what on earth is a crypto miner going to look like? I do not know. Um, security blueprints. We're going to have to invest in that at some point. Um, okay. I don't know where crypto miners are either game come on give us a little bit of hand with this it just says um install some crypto miners on his machine but, but uh, how how where are they <laughs> is that a thing that i'm supposed to unlock in terms of research am i supposed to reveal crypto miners um i am i am confused game if you could help out a little bit that'd be quite nice I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with that. Um, okay, never mind, never mind. Uh, right, we need to get that done. And we need to keep working toward getting enough money to buy a garden trunk to then complete that goal there. Because we get some XP and we get 150 monies as well. So, um, yeah, we'll keep, um, we'll keep going with that. Oh, hang on, hang on. Jeff's run out of water. Sorry, Jeff. There you go, Jeff. You can go and stock up over there and make us lots of money. That's all very good. Um, okay. Right, let's keep time ticking on then, shall we? Because, yeah, we've got a little way to go. And we need to keep growing all these things. Yeah, we need lettuce and strawberries and everything else. Hang on, we're on it. Oh, the mole might have something for us. Hello, mole friend. What do you have? Essence of cookie dough. Now that comes around. Okay, that's very unfortunate, isn't it? Because we could have made something wonderful. But, okay, right, we'll get that in. I think, could we now mix the lettuce with the cookie dough? That would be marvellous. There you go, garden bot. There you go. Very good. Very soon we'll have a little place for you to put all this stuff. Because at the moment you kind of just have to keep storing it within your kind of 
you know, personal storage, and that's a little bit fiddly. So it'd be nice if we could get that done. But yeah, if we get the cookie dough, that's got to be good. Have we got anything going into the thing? Yep, another couple of crates, uh, crates of that. That's looking good. How are we looking for that? There's, okay, what we'll do is put some more lettuce into there and then come around here. Okay, right, so we are looking a little bit low on some things, but I think you did that, didn't you? So hang on, give the, give the robot, oh, hang on a minute, hang on. How do we charge the robot? And then when it's fully charged, go to view storage. Okay, so grab all those things, including that lettuce, please. Uh, we are getting quite a pile of lemongrass. How do we tell it to stop planting lemongrass? <laughs> don't do that. Stop planting lemongrass. Um, because we're picking up quite a lot of it. And I don't know if we necessarily need that much lemongrass. We've, we've got much of it now. Um, okay, right. So we've got some strawberry that could go into there. Very good. And we've got a pile of lettuce that could go into there. Okay, that'll keep that ticking over quite a bit. 1,468. I think... If we get to get up to about 1800 money, I think then we buy ourselves the outside storage crate thingamajig. But until then, I think we kind of have to wait. I don't want to be sort of running out of money and it causing problems and all that kind of stuff. Um, we do need that lemon, though. We do need that lemon. So hang on, we have to water the... Oh, hang on a minute. We have to water the robot. Charge the robot. When it's fully charged, we view storage. Um, yeah, we'll take the lemon, please. And we've got quite a lot of mustard as well. And more lemongrass. <laughs> we need to figure out how to stop it doing that. But put the lemon into there. Lemon with the mustard. That can make a nice mustardy lemony drink. And that can make us some good money. Wonderful stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be that long until we have about $1,800. Oh, and there we go. We've completed the objective, which was to sell the 50 crates of stuff, which is, you know, in one of the age group popularity things, whatever it was. But yeah, we've completed the goal to sell those 50 crates. So that's good. So we got paid a little bit of money. In fact, we're on 2,192 monies and we have many, many things going in. So it's looking pretty good. We have got, that's run out of lemon, which is unfortunate. However, I imagine, uh, yes. We've got some lemon down here, which is very good. So, okay, we'll have that and we'll have that. We've been given essence of cherry and also we've been given a brewer module speed one. Okay, brewer is one second faster at brewing, has a small chance of breaking down after producing a case. Oh, good. <laughs> that will be useful. That'll come in helpful. Um, okay, I mean, let's put it on this one here. We'll put the module in on this one. How do we, how do we install that? How does, how does that work? How do we add that into the machine? I'm not entirely sure how we do that. Um, ah, here we go. Brewing module. Okay, so we can put that in like that. And that means that's going to go a bit quicker. Is that kind of it then? Okay, that that's good. That's good. What did that do? I'd expect the machine to look a little bit different. Has it got some different dials or a different button or something? Have I installed, have I used that correctly? Uh, brewer input. No, I think that's just applied to it just there select an installed module for more information but i'm clicking it and it's not telling me anything is, have i done that right is that correct <laughs> it looks like that should be about correct but i would expect that to look a little bit different because we've added a fancy new doodad um okay never mind Do you know what we can now go and tell garden bot to put things away into a trunk in the garden so here we go let's go to the shop go to miscellaneous um, okay, buy the blueprint for the garden trunk for a very extortion at 1,400 monies, I have to say. Okay, so we'll buy that immediately, then pop back out. Right, so come down here. What's the point of us having a bed? Why is there a bed? We, oh, we can go to sleep. Oh, we can actually sleep. Can we sit down? Can we have a sit down, have some food? What's the point of going to sleep? What would we do then? I don't quite know what the point of that would be. Uh, we'll do a bit of cleaning up as we go along because that's fine. Um, okay, so let's grab this. We shall have that blueprint. Then we'll do that and just immediately go and learn the blueprint. So now that's going to give us a garden trunk. And now we have to actually have the money to build this. Another 340 money. That's okay. We can afford that just. Um, so if we put that over in that corner, we put it down here that's going to be really near to the door so we can just run and quickly grab things yeah okay so put that down 
Then we go over to talk to you and we say, hey, you, store stuff into the garden trunk, please. That will complete that goal. Okay, we've done that. We've got some money back, which is very nice. Okay, splendid. We have to dodge around that crate thing every time, but that's okay. But now we don't have to keep going to garden bot every time. Garden bot can just load this up with all of the things, which is very good. Um, okay, how do we stop? How do we stop this? Do we dig up the lemongrass? <laughs> We've got so much lemongrass. Stop it with the lemongrass, unless we can use it for many things. Um, okay, research-wise, I mean, we could, we could go for the weird soda breakthrough. That'd be quite good. If there's a weird flavor cube in the recipe, the soda value is increased. So we could do that. We could make the shipping bay bigger. They could make the vehicles bigger so they can carry more things in one trip. Uh, these I'm not so bothered about. Green Thumb does actually make the gardening better. But that's not the problem. It's more the automation of things right now. How about Stockbot? Let's get Stockbot in. I imagine we'll have a series of kind of mission-y quest things for that. Okay, so Stockbot is now unlocked. Okay, right. So when do we get the kind of mission-y quest things? Oh, they're over here right now. Oh, okay, that's fine. I kind of thought that maybe we'd have to build a Stockbot to then get them up. But no, that's okay. So link a Stockbot to take an input flavor cubes into a brewer input module. Okay, what does that mean? Stockbot has to take from storage, Stockbot has to input into a brewer. Okay, so can we just say, take whatever you need from the garden storage and put it into the brewers? Can we do that? Is that a thing we can do? Can we build a Stockbot? Can we do that? 263 money, I think we're okay. Right, so build a Stockbot. Hello. Oh, you look all so sad. Sorry, Stockbot. Let's give you a drink. There you go. Everything is better. Ah, but you're not kind of programmed to do anything. Okay, so take stuff from... Yeah, so take from there and then put into here. And then put into here and then put into here. So I assume it knows what the recipes are. This might make things significantly better. This is going to make life so much easier. So we can watch as you take out... Hang on, so you've got... You're putting the mustard in and the lemon in. This is perfect. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Stockbot, you are amazing. Right, okay, so hang on a second. So this one here is called Jeff. Jeff does need a little bit of water. So there you go, Jeff. We'll give you a, give you a little splash of drink there. So we've got Jeff. Um, garden bot. Um, okay, hang on. Can we manage garden bot? Um, okay, that's fine. Hang on. How do we how do we change your name? No, that's garden storage. I'm not. No, I don't want that. Hang on. Um, go to you manage. I want to change the name of garden bot. <laughs> it's very important. Very important indeed. Garden bot doing some good work right now. Doing some good stuff. Um, okay. Can you can you finish what you're doing, garden bot? Okay. Right. There we go. Charge you up. That's good. And then view storage. Right. Garden bot A two. That's not good enough at all. Um, Let's call you, um, let's call you, I mean, how about we bring the old crew back in? Let's have Betty. Okay, so you can be Betty the garden bot. And then you over here, uh, Stockbot A3. Again, bit of a rubbish name. Uh, we can call you Bernard. There we go. We'll have Betty and Bernard and Jeff as well. Okay, that is wonderful. That's going to make life so much better. That's going to be so much more efficient. Right, and then we go to mail. It's a daily summary. Okay, good. We did some stuff. I mean, yes, yeah, so if we just keep... This is now kind of becoming a little bit more automated. This is way better. However, we are producing a lot of stuff we might possibly not need anymore. Um, so how about we go to here. I think is that... Uh, yeah, digs up growing essences. That's what we want to do. We want to dig these up because, yeah, we've got Garden Bot going, hey, I'm going to help you. And we're going, no, Garden Bot, please stop. Uh, so dig up the lemongrass. We don't need that. Pick up the essence. Um, that's mustard. That's probably okay. Cookie dough is okay. Lemon is okay. Strawberry is okay. And lettuce is okay. Okay, they're probably all okay. But um, yeah, we don't need the lemongrass anymore because we've got so much lemongrass, it's a little bit silly. And um, we do have cookie dough and lemon and mustard in our backpack, which is quite nice. Hang on, can we just chuck them into there? Just throw them immediately in. How much is that going for? 4.91. That's still looking pretty good. 
That's looking pretty good. Um, okay, that's still making the thing that we might possibly not need to make anymore. That's come out. That's around strawberry. Uh, I think maybe what we'll do is let's finish things off today by making a whole new thing, shall we? Let's also clean that up. Let's make a whole new um, new flavor, whole new drink. And we'll just see how that goes. So if we go up to here and have a look at the markets. Um, also, could we do... Could we do some free samples for the seniors? Because they don't like us so much. I've got pizza. We've got pizza. Okay, hang on. So what is looking good right now? Um, ah, donuts. Okay, so donut with something else would be ideal. Maybe we focus on donuts because market demand is good for that. I mean, if we could get bacon. Bacon and donut would work amazingly well. Um, I mean, yeah, is bacon in here. Beef is in here. Strawberry, apple, cola, cucumber. I still think essence of cucumber sounds like a terrible thing. Um, when's it restocking? Five hours time. Botherations. Okay, never mind. It'd be handy if we could kind of see like what the price, where these are available and such like. Um, pecan. That's in there, isn't it? Pecan, moon rock, basil and toast. Hang on, pecan was there, wasn't it? Did I see that? Fairly sure I saw that. Uh, oh, maybe it was there earlier. Maybe it was there earlier and we didn't buy it. No, oh, botherations. Okay, I mean, what can we go for? Garlic, I think, was quite high up the list on the markets. Was garlic okay? Plus 27%. It's not one of the top ones, though, unfortunately. Um, we, oh, no, lemongrass. We've got loads of that. Donut and lemongrass. Okay, do you know what? Let's go make something new, shall we? That's exciting. Uh, let's go to here and extract that out. Uh, yeah, get, get rid of that, please. There we go. Take out the ginseng. Right, that's good. Oh, we've got a research point. That's very good. Thank you. Um, and then in there, let's go and grab. We've got a lot of lemongrass, so that's going to be fine. We can put the lettuce back in there. Got cookie dough as well. That's all very good. And donut. So donut and lemongrass. It sounds terrible to me. So we've got weird, savoury and sweet and vegetable bitter and floral. <laughs> Sounds very unpleasant. Okay, um, let's call it donut grass. There we go. Uh, we'll make it fuchsia coloured and we'll put it in the nice tall cans. Okay, so donut and lemongrass. Not got one of the flavour enhancer things. But yeah, begin with that, please. Hopefully that can make some very good money. 548. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. Right, run back over here. Just pop that back into there for now because we're not using it right now. Uh, also do a spot of cleaning. Very good. Right, and then in the garden, we need to make sure that we are growing donuts and lemongrass. So now we need to go and get the donut and the lemongrass back in. So uh, take the mustard out. Uh, donut. Move the cherry for now. So yeah, we've got ourselves the... Where is it? Where's the donut? Donut and... These all look the same. Lemongrass. Okay, so grow those two. So put those, say, over here for now. So yes, please. And oh, I didn't let it go long enough. There we go. And just there. So sort that out. Give them some water. I think possibly we might invest in the auto watering thing to make things even more efficient. And then we've got lettuce, strawberry, mustard, lemon, and then cookie dough again. We probably do have quite a bit of cookie dough going on in here. Yeah, maybe. Hang on a minute. I know we just put that away, but let's get it back out again. <laughs> let's go and dig up the cookie dough thing and say no more cookie dough. We're okay for it right now. It's delicious and it's very nice, but we're okay at the moment. So get the essence of cookie dough and put that back into here. Okay, and then we can grab... Oh, hang on a second. Where's all the cookie dough that was in the box? We'll have that, please. And we'll put that into there, which is a huge, where is it? There is a huge big pile of it, but that's plenty. Okay, right. That's all very good. That sorted that out. So is everything in here growing that we want to grow? Lemongrass, lettuce, strawberry, donuts, because <laughs> that's how donuts work, uh, mustard and lemon. Yeah, okay, right. That's all looking good over in the garden. Okay, so the only thing I think now that we're not really automating very well is the watering of our plants. We have to keep going over here and then watering them by hand. So can we use our research point to then get a quad plot sprinkler? That sounds very good. So we shall unlock that, thank you very much. And now 
I imagine. Right, so in the build book already, how much are they? They're only 297, and we've got 1,400 monies. Okay, so where can we put that? So if we put one there, that'll cover those four plots, and then put one just there to cover those four plots, that means that we're now going to have things automatically watered as well, which is very helpful. Hang on, how do we come out the build thing? Um, okay, so I mean, do we need to watch this? We need to watch and make sure that this is working. I love the fact that we've just got Betty the garden bot just pootling over and helping out. Let's give you a quick um, give you a quick drink there. There you go. Oh no, I think we watered the plant rather than anything else. I mean, yeah, when do these kick into life? If we say water. We don't water. Then we just water that empty plot down there. We'll go and refill the um, watering can anyway, because we still do need to put water into the robots. But I'm just kind of hanging around just to watch these things do anything at all because they haven't done anything yet. And we do need to get growing the lemon. Do you know what? We're, we're going to water this ourselves for now because our watering things are not doing their job, which is unfortunate. So we'll put a bit of water on now. I mean, if they could hurry up and you know, put more water onto our plots, that would be really good. But I don't know when they do it. Do we have to switch them on? I don't know if we have to activate them or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. We'll just go through and add some more just to make sure that these things can grow. Okay, right. Yeah, they're still not done anything. Can we buy better versions? Are we supposed to buy like upgraded versions or something at some point? Um, a drone sprinkler? That's exciting. That could be quite fun. Yeah, I'm not, they're not doing anything, I don't think. I don't think they're doing anything at all. It's a quad plot sprinkler. So maybe we're... I mean, yeah, they're in the middle of four plots. Is, is, do we put them in the wrong place? I don't know. Okay, I mean, we'll have to see if they do anything at all. If not, we might have to go and move them around, put them in a different place. But um, yeah, they're not doing much right now, which is all a bit unfortunate. But yeah, maybe they'll spring into life at some point. So I think with that done, I think we will finish things up for now. But we've got that kind of lovely bit of automation now. So as long as we keep the right things in here, and we may, ah, there you go. They just did some watering. It just splash water everywhere. Okay, good. They are doing something splendid. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, we'll finish up because, yeah, we need to make sure that we have the right things over in our big garden storage box. And as long as we have those right things, we've then got, um, oh, hang on, Jeff. Oh, hang on, we've run out of, we've run out of water. Hang on. We need water in our watering can quickly. It's an emergency. Jeff is thirsty. Right, come back down here. So, Jeff... You need some water. There you go. Charge up. Um, yeah, as long as we make sure everything is in that box over there, then everything else is going to tick over nicely. Give Bernard a drink. I think we just water Jeff again. There we go, Bernard. Um, because, yeah, they're going to bring... So Bernard's going to bring the stuff to the brewer over here, and then he's going to move stuff to the brewer over here, and move stuff to the brewer over here. And then, of course, we've got Jeff transporting them all over here to get sold, which is wonderful. And then we've got... Betty out in the garden doing all the growing and admin stuff and then two automatic watering things as well. So really, with that setup done, all we need to do now is concentrate on the recipes themselves. We can kind of leave the rest of this to the robots, which is very handy indeed. That's kind of what I wanted from the start because it was a bit fiddly having to kind of, you know, do most of the moving around and all that kind of stuff. So that's really good. That's going to help a great deal. That is very good indeed. And we do have quite a lot of... <laughs> Quite a lot of cookie dough. I think we have a full stack of cookie dough. Um, okay, put the shovel into there. And yes, I think with that done, we'll finish up for now. We'll come back next time and just see what we can do with this thing here. These crypto mining things. I'm not entirely sure what that means. So I kind of feel that's going to move the story on as well. So maybe we'll get a little bit more money coming in. I mean, look at that. Look at the stuff that's piling up over there in the kind of in the sales area there's so much stuff going on so maybe now we've got a bit more automation going on as well next time we should use our research things to make our export operations a bit better as well but yeah we'll do this crypto miner thing first we'll see what that's all about because i'm not entirely sure what we do with that it's a bit strange so we'll come back next time do some stuff with crypto mining and then just see how we get on with everything else as well. But yeah, that's all for next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Soda Story Brewing Tycoon. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. I just want to point out the danger of blasting fire into the face of somebody who has not got any kind of headgear on. 
Let's suppress the pants off that thing. I always knew hiding around a park bench would be no good. Oh no, it's a terrifying disc thing. The aliens shoot him with such force <laughs> that he loses his hair, which is just ridiculous. 